Welcome, my friends. I'm Jen Hillman, and I am so excited to be here with you today on the Cole Chance Yoga Channel. Cole is a very dear friend of mine, and I am so honored to have an opportunity to connect with you here and continue our work collaborating and co-creating as Yoga Soul Sisters. So thanks for having me, Cole. Today, we are going to dive into a root chakra yoga flow. So this is going to help you tap in to a sense of grounding, helping you feel connected to the earth, tapping into that sense of safety and security, feeling at home in your body. And we are going to dive into some hip openers because this is the area that's connected to the root chakra. So this is going to be an excellent practice to help you relieve tension and tightness in your hips, in your low back. If you have sciatic issues or just tightness in your legs, you are going to love today's practice. So go ahead and like this video, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel here. And once you're all set, go ahead and roll out your mat and join me for this root chakra flow. We're going to begin our practice sitting in a comfortable seat. And if it's helpful for you, you may try sitting on a cushion or a folded up blanket to help lift your hips a little higher than your knees. That can help your legs to relax and also give you a little more space to find a nice lift in your spine. So just settling into that nice easy seat We'll take these first few moments to connect to your body and your breath. So you can begin to close your eyes and turn your attention inward. And begin to notice the flow of your breath. You don't have to change or do anything different. Simply allow yourself to observe. Observe the feeling as your body inhales and that brief pause before the breath moves out. Notice how satisfying it is to nourish your body with this breath. So the root chakra is all about grounding into this physical form, this body, this three-dimensional reality. So as you take these deep breaths, Feel the physicality of your experienced reality, the density of it all. And imagine a glowing ruby red light just below your seat. So it's actually settled into the earth. Almost as if you were sitting on a ruby red ball of light. And see if you can move your breath all the way down, down through your core, down into the bowl of your pelvis and all the way down into that ruby red ball. And with each breath, infuse that glowing light with more energy. So much so that a red light begins to expand and encapsulate your hips, your legs, 
and feeling the warmth of that glowing red energy connecting to your root. You can imagine that root growing all the way down through the floor, through the earth, down into the molten center. Feel that you are connected to this earth by way of your physical body. And as we begin to move into our practice, we're going to move this body You can allow whatever distractions or chatter in the mind to pay attention and observe the feeling and the flow of moving in your body. On your next inhale, circle your arms up towards the sky. Lifting up out of your waist, reach nice and tall as you stretch your fingertips to the sky. Pausing at the top of your breath, hug your belly up and in. Reach up as high as you can. Then on that exhale, we'll slowly and intentionally float your arms down towards the earth. Nice and easy. We'll inhale and circle your left arm up and over, moving into a nice, easy side body stretch. Just gently leaning towards that right side, feeling the left side body open. And we'll inhale and rise back to center. And as you exhale, just let yourself come back to neutral. And we'll inhale and reach the right arm up and over, arcing towards that left side. Exhale to deepen the stretch, really leaning into it. Then we'll inhale and rise back to center. Then sweep your left hand across to your right knee. You can tiptoe those right fingertips back a little bit. Then we'll inhale the breath to sit up nice and tall, lifting up through the crown of your head. Then as you exhale, begin to rotate the shoulders a little further around to that right side, getting a nice deep rotation in the spine. Then we'll slowly release and make your way back to center. And we'll begin to move to the second side, reaching your right hand over to that left knee. Reach the left fingertips down and back. Inhale to rise, extending up through your crown. Then exhale to rotate just a little bit deeper, working the spiral, feeling into that rotation as you maintain a connection to your slow and steady breath. Then slowly release, making your way back to the front. Then bring the soles of your feet together and your knees open wide. Again, this is another spot where it could be helpful to be sitting up on a cushion or a blanket. Then hold on to your ankles and lift up through your spine. Gently press down through your knees so we feel an active stretch in this seat. Then take a deep breath in and extend up a little further through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, we're going to fold forward, leading with your heart, gently stretching your heart forward. You hinge at your hips, deepening that stretch through your inner thighs, through your sacrum, your low back and your outer hips. Slowly starting to find your way forward, your shoulders and neck and head. Fall forward, giving in to the slow and steady pull of gravity. It doesn't matter how far forward you fold, 
as long as you're feeling that wonderful juicy stretch into your hips and low back. And then when you're ready, we're going to slowly unroll your spine. So just take your time, one vertebrae at a time, gently stacking the spine. You can take your time, there's no rush. You just wanna let the body unfold in its own beautiful rhythm. Now fold your knees in like a book and just wrap your arms around your shins, giving yourself a little hug. You could even tuck your chin in and round your spine, just feeling a gentle stretch into your back. And from here, we're going to come into a seated pigeon pose. So you can place your feet flat to the floor in front of you and bring your hands back to support your upper body. And start by crossing your right ankle over your left knee, making a nice figure four with the legs. Then press your hands into the mat to help you lift and extend through your spine. So we really lift through your chest and it's that extension in the spine that gives you a deeper stretch into the outer right hip. Now I like to incorporate a little bit of movement. So you can play around with gently rocking that left knee from right to left. Now, I recommend going slowly here so you can really explore the sensation and just notice what the movement offers to your body. And if you come across a sweet spot that feels especially good to stretch, feel free to hang out and enjoy the moment. Now we're gonna, we're gonna move this into a twist by rotating this entire figure four all the way to the left. So you'll open your left knee to the side and let your right foot land down to the floor. Now wrap your left arm around that right knee and let's give it an active squeeze, really hugging your right knee in towards that left shoulder. Then again, you can bring your right fingertips back behind you. Let's inhale to lift up through the crown of your head and exhale to twist a little bit deeper. Really work to maintain that squeeze on your right leg. That's gonna help you to get the deeper stretch right into the outer part of your right hip. Then we'll slowly release, coming back to the front Land your left hand behind you. And again, we're gonna rotate the left foot flat to the floor. This time, extend your right leg out in front of you. Then work that left heel as close to your sitting bone as you can. So we really wanna hug that left foot in. Now reach your left arm up towards the sky. Take a deep breath as you stretch and reach tall. Then exhale and reach your heart forward. We're going to lean towards the inside of that left leg. Reaching your left fingertips forward, you may even grab onto your right foot, gently pulling your body forward. One deep breath at a time. Let yourself work into the stretch. And we'll slowly release and roll yourself back up to center. Now we'll move that sequence on the second side, bringing your feet back to the floor and your hands behind you. We'll cross that left ankle over your right knee, pressing your hands into the mat. Take a nice deep breath in as you lift and extend through your spine. Actively press that left knee open to the side and then you have the invitation to explore a little movement and just see what happens. You know, there's a lot of benefit to holding stagnant poses and it's a whole other experience when we incorporate some mindful movement into the shape. So just give yourself permission to explore and see what feels good for your body and when you feel ready, we'll move this into the seated twist. Hi, 
kitty. <laughs> So let's rotate that right knee down to the earth, bringing your left foot flat to the floor. Wrap your right arm around your left knee and we just give it a good hug. You may already be feeling the stretch in your hip just by hugging the knee in. Then we take it one step deeper by bringing your left hand down behind you. Inhale to lift and extend your crown upward. Then as you exhale, we rotate just a little bit deeper. So really feeling the outer hip. You may be feeling a stretch across the low back. You may even, even be feeling a little bit of a stretch into the hip flexor. So just find where that sensation arises and send your breath all the way down there. Then we'll slowly release back to the front We'll rotate your right foot flat to the floor again, then extend that left leg out in front of you. Hug your right heel in as close as you can, then we'll inhale and rise, stretching the right fingertips up towards the sky. Then exhale and gently lean your body forward, reaching towards the inside of the right leg. You can grab onto your left foot if that's helpful to you. Then take it slow and deep as you fold forward over that left leg. And just allow yourself to pay special attention to whatever feelings or thoughts arise. If you notice yourself judging or criticizing yourself or, or feeling, feeling bad about where you are in your practice, just Pay attention and notice when those thoughts arise. Take a deeper breath and see if you can soften a little more into your pose. Then we slowly release, nice and easy, just gently unrolling the spine. Then guide your right foot back to the floor. Let's wrap your arms around your shins and just give yourself a no nice loving squeeze. Then we're going to come up and over into a downward facing dog. So you can bring your hands forward on your mat, find your own beautiful transition into that downward facing dog. And as your hips begin to rise, you can take this moment to pedal out your feet. Use this moment to stretch into the backs of your legs. I especially find this helpful for stretching the calves and the ankles. This also helps to st stretch some of the attachments around the knees. So just use your breath, take your time, greet your body and just notice what you feel today. Then as you're ready, we'll reach both heels down towards the earth, settling into your pose. Fine tune your awareness and see if you can become aware of your full body sensation in this pose. And slowly, slowly, one step at a time, we're going to begin to walk your feet forward towards the front. And allow yourself to take a casual stroll towards the top of your mat so you can really feel what each step has to offer. And as you make your way forward to fold over your legs, again, we can bring in a little movement and just begin to shift your weight side to side, rocking your hips from right to left. You can play with bending or straightening your knees. So again, this is just a chance for you to dive into some personal exploration Dive into your body, see what you notice. Allow yourself to be fully present for the experience. And we'll slowly make your way back to center, just folding your body down. Then on your next inhale, we're going to extend halfway up, extending out through your spine. Reach your heart forward, rolling your shoulders down your back. 
Then as you exhale, your breath will slowly fold your body right back down over your legs. Now let's rotate your toes about 45 degrees open to the sides. So we're getting a little rotation in the legs. Then just fold your body down here and notice how that little adjustment changes the experience of your stretch. Now slowly begin to lower your hips down towards the earth. As you come down, we want to try and keep the heels connected to the mat. You want to try and keep your knees rotating outward. So we don't want to just collapse the knees forward, okay? Try to keep the knees pressing back and the sole of your feet grounded. Now, as you come down into this squat, you're going to feel a very exciting stretch into the hips. Just breathe into that ruby red light, that root chakra energy as you sink down into this deep hip stretch. Then you could even start to fold your body forward, maybe even leaning your chest forward towards the front of your mat allows for an even deeper stretch. Then slowly begin to rise your hips back up towards the sky, Coming back to that forward fold, you can rotate your toes towards the front of your mat, bowing forward into a nice deep stretch. Let's shift your weight into your right foot, then inhale to extend your left heel up towards the sky. And on your exhale, we'll gently lower your left toes down to the back edge of your mat. Take a moment and set yourself up with a nice juicy lunge. You want to make sure you have plenty of space between your feet. And we'll inhale to deepen that lunge, reaching your heart forward and keep that back leg tight and toned. Then as you exhale, we'll draw your hips back into a pyramid pose, gently folding your heart forward over that right leg. And again, let's move it with the breath. Inhale to shift forward into your lunge, lift and extend through the crown of your head. Then exhale and gently guide it back. Hips reach back, the right leg extends as you fold your body down. Inhale to the lunge. One more time like this, we extend your body long. And exhale and gently fold it back. Now let's come forward into the lunge again. This time, we're going to bring your right hand onto your right knee. Press into that right leg, working into a nice rotation in your spine. Rolling your right shoulder back. Let's extend your right arm straight up towards the sky. Nice, deep, revolved lunge. Now we're going to guide your hips back, extending the right leg long, making one smooth transition into our revolved pyramid pose. Take one more inhale right here. Really juice the twist. And as you exhale, we'll softly land your right hand back down to the floor. Make your way forward back into that lunge and let's just lower your left knee down to the floor. Now guide your hips back over that left knee, extending your right leg long and slowly just fold your heart down into a nice easy surrender. One breath at a time, just letting yourself fold forward over that right leg. And we'll inhale and lift your heart back up, extending your spine long. Let's walk your right foot over to the left side of your mat. So still working to keep that right leg extended. We're just walking the foot over towards the left side. Take another moment to fold your body down here and feel how we have now shifted that stretch into the IT band and the lateral hamstring. 
So let yourself feel into this juicy stretch. Then we'll inhale and rise again. Now, keep that the right foot where it is. We're going to shift your weight forward, rolling that right knee open to the side. We start to transition into pigeon pose. Now our goal in this pigeon pose is to bring the left hip bone around. So if you're sitting on the right hip, that left hip is open, your work is to bring that left hip up and over. We wanna square your hips forward towards the front of your mat. Just take a couple more breaths, really being present with this pigeon pose. This is a big one, you guys, really working to open up all that tension in the pelvis and the hips. And when you're ready, we're gonna come on out of it planting your hands firmly on your mat. Tuck those back toes underneath you. Then press against the earth and see if you can sneak that right leg back up towards the sky. Then gently stack your right hip over the left and bend into that right knee. Press firmly into your hands. Look back and make sure that your left leg is stable and supportive as you twist those hips around. And we'll softly release and land your right foot back down to your downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale a deep breath out. And then let's step forward, coming back to the top of your mat. Taking one big step forward. We'll inhale and lift your heart halfway up. Then exhale to fold your body back down. And we'll move on to the second side, shifting your weight into the left foot. Inhale and sweep your right leg up and back. And we'll exhale and gently lower it down into a nice big lunge. You can always take a moment and readjust your feet so we can really have good alignment and structure in your pose. Then we'll inhale to reach your heart forward, deepening the stretch. Then as you exhale, guide your hips back and fold forward over that left leg. Inhale to come forward, moving the lunge. And exhale to guide it back. One more time. We'll inhale to come forward. And exhale to guide it back. Now let's come back into the lunge, shifting your weight forward. This time we'll bring the left hand up onto your left knee. Pressing into that leg, you give yourself some help, getting into a nice deep twist in the spine. And gently extend the left fingertips up, getting a full rotation in the spine. Then one simple change. We draw the hips back, extending through your left knee. We find ourselves in that revolved pyramid pose. Now this is a big pose, it can be kind of confronting. Just come back to your deep, steady breath. You've got this. Let's juice that twist with one more inhale. Then exhale and let it go. Bringing the left hand to the floor. Shift your weight forward to your lunge and release your right knee down. Guide your hips back to that half split. And slowly fold your heart forward over your left leg. Give yourself a couple rounds of slow and satisfying breath. And on your next inhale, let's lift and extend through your spine. Now walk that left foot to the right edge of your mat. Again, we're working to keep that left leg as straight as you can. 
Then let's fold it forward one more time and see what you find. Notice what arises from one moment to the next and from one side to the next. Allow yourself to be with what is and move your breath down into your hips and your legs and your feet. Then we'll inhale and lift your heart, keeping your left foot where it is. Begin to shift your weight forward towards that pigeon pose. So this is a big pose and it's complex. There's a lot going on. So give yourself permission to take a little time to get situated, get adjusted in your pose so that you can find where it's most optimal. So we wanna feel that stretch into the outer left hip, maybe working down the IT band can feel some stretch across that inner left thigh and a big stretch across the right hip flexor. So let's just breathe down into your legs, down into the hips, down into your low back. As you exhale, just let yourself soften a little more. Then plant your hands on your mat. Curl those back toes under and begin to press your hips up. See if you can sweep that left leg all the way up towards the sky. Then open your hips, stacking left over right. You can bend into that left knee, but look back at your right foot. Make sure that your heel is grounded that your shin is stable, your knee is strong. So we want a powerful supporting leg. And slowly release your left foot back down to the mat and take a full round of breath in your downward facing dog. Nice deep inhale. And a full exhale into your pose. And we'll slowly make your way forward, walking your feet back to the top of your mat. Coming back to that nice deep forward fold. You could even grab onto your ankles here and really pull your body down, getting the juiciest stretch that you can. And then we'll slowly begin to release your hips back down towards the floor. Let yourself come back to a nice, easy seat and just close your eyes and feel. Notice the residual sensations buzzing in your body. Breathing all the way down into the earth. Let your breath move down, down, nourishing every single cell in your body. If you come back to visualizing that ruby red ball of light, just notice if it seems brighter or more vibrant. Just let yourself observe whatever you might perceive. Bring your hands together at your heart in a gesture of acknowledgement. Thank yourself for showing up on the mat today and taking this time to care for your body and feel your body thanking you for nourishing it in this way. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to guide you in this practice. Again, I'm Jen Hillman. You can find my info in the links below.
and I'm super excited that I will be coming back to do a live yoga class with those of you in the CCY studio. So again, you can check the links below for all the details to join me live where we will be moving into a full body chakra flow where we will actually be moving into exercises to help stimulate and energize all seven of your primary energy centers. So check out the details below and I can't wait to see you then. Namaste.